What is Onward Travel and why should you care? Hi, I'm Fast Fred Ruddick of Fast Fred Travels. And if you're tuning in to learn travel tips and hacks, you're in the right place. So stick around. Onward Travel, what is it and why does it matter? Onward Travel is basically the challenge you may get at customs or from your airline. My luck finally ran out and I actually had to get a homeward ticket this time flying between two countries in Latin America. It was the airline that flagged me as I intend to stay beyond 90 days in Ecuador. If I have to have a homeward ticket, it's gotta be within the first 90 days that the original visa will cover. Cause you gotta be there 80 days to apply for the visa extension. Big hassle. Hopefully I did this right and I'll get all my money back. We will see. What is Onward Travel? Onward Travel is proof that you will be leaving the country you're entering. In most cases, people are only going on vacation for a week or two, and thus they will have a round trip ticket, a return ticket out of that country. So that will qualify. However, people traveling longer or maybe people traveling to say Ecuador, Colombia, and then they intend to cross land borders by bus, won't have onward travel or proof thereof. Because often a bus ticket will not be accepted by the airline. They will insist upon a flight back to your home country as proof. This can be problematic. It's probably less likely to happen with customs, but it is possible. The top reasons you might not have a proof of onward travel, a return airline ticket, is you're a digital nomad, so you can work from anywhere, and you're not sure how long you're going to stay in that country. You're a perpetual traveler, or someone like me that travels for six or seven months a year, about the same difference. And maybe you're uncertain about your travel plans. I travel slowly, and I like to have an open itinerary, so if I find something cool, I can stick around longer. And if I don't like it, I can move on sooner. Or maybe you're applying for a visa and you have no intention of ever returning. So why on earth would you spend several hundred dollars on a ticket you're not going to use? There is a solution. And I will get to that and I'm going to give you a link in how to do it. The solution is only going to cost you $14 to $33 depending on how you configure your uh, return ticket you're basically renting. You can go to onwardticket.com to do this. Now, why am I making this video? Well, when I was in Guatemala City on my way to Ecuador, and I'm uncertain how long I'm going to stay in Ecuador, I have the intention of uh, extending my visa and staying beyond the 90-day window. But Copa Airlines, which flies through Panama, they are really anal about this, apparently. And at the last minute while boarding, and yes, I had an economical ticket, so I was in the last boarding group, I was challenged for proof of onward travel. This has never happened to me at that point. Generally, if some uh, airline has question of your... Uh, fact you have all your documents you're called to the uh, counter long before they start boarding but in this case it did the 11th hour I only had a few minutes to come up with uh, proof onward travel and while I knew about this solution I was a little greedy because I'm frugal so in the past hotwire.com used to uh, give you a 24 hour grace period that is not the case and unfortunately I didn't have time to read the details. Additionally, I knew federal law requires airlines to refund the ticket within 24 hours if you request it from booking. But that only applies if you buy directly from the airlines. So maybe I could have done that, but that's another hassle of a phone call and trouble, which is probably not worth $14 that you can resolve this otherwise. I lost $280, being greedy, I guess, and not taking the solution that I knew about. So my tip is, if you're flying somewhere and you don't have proof of onward travel, go ahead and spend the $14 for peace of mind, 
so you don't have to hope that your phone works and that you can book the ticket before the door closes on the airplane. I did make my flight and it was very tight. <laughs> there was no time to research this at that moment. So in the future, I'll buy the $14 ticket when I'm crossing borders so I can prove that I'm leaving just in case I'm challenged. $14 is cheap. It's a lot cheaper than the transportation to go back, get a hotel, and then try again. And buying an airline ticket the 11th hour is going to cost you a lot more money. I generally buy mine at least a month in advance to cut back on expenses. So if you like this channel and you like the information in this video and you stuck around this long, please give the video a like, share it with your friends, leave some comments, ask some pointed questions, and check out my blog. It has a lot more information about this and it's probably a little more concise or thorough than uh, this video has been. Shout out to all my friends back home and especially you folks that support this channel. I really do appreciate you. And this is the list of folks who have donated to this channel or come rafting with me and left generous tips. If you want to come rafting with me, check out the description. There's a link and there's a lot of information about how to make it happen this summer on the Ocoee River between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Do feel free to reach out and chat with me. I am available, and I want to make sure you have a good time on the river. By the way, I really miss my friends at Cat's Deli, McKaysville, Georgia. If you're in that area in the Copper Basin, you should drop by and tell Nancy hi. And tell her Fred was thinking about her. They do have kosher gravy and bacon and egg sandwiches and some sausage and egg sandwiches. Yeah, it's a joke. It's a southern deli. So, of course, they have stuff that might not be kosher. But the food is really solid. And the coffee is almost as good as that which I drink here in Ecuador and previously up in Guatemala.